guys. Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is Monday, October 18th, 2021. Welcome to another eBay video. As you can see, it is cloudy and nasty as usual. We get one sunny day every two weeks and we had it yesterday. So I guess now it's payback time. In today's video, I'm going to discuss two important topics in under 10 minutes. Number one, I'm going to show you a little tutorial about a quick way to add item specifics to your eBay listings. That is item specifics that eBay recommends. And number two is I'm going to talk more about unfair negative feedback removal. You may remember that in the video I made Friday night, I told you and showed you a bad eBay buyer who left me unfair negative feedback because he didn't get his item by eBay's somewhat unreasonable expected delivery date. And I'm going to show you exactly how that went for me. That being said, let's get to the video. Okay guys, the first thing I'd like to discuss is the negative feedback I was left last week that I mentioned to you in one of my prior videos, I believe it was on Friday night. To rehash, if you look at the screen here, you'll see that this person is complaining they didn't receive their item by eBay's estimated delivery date, even though the tracking clearly showed I shipped it the next day. This person, this eBay buyer, the boogeyman 1957-0, also opened a case against me an item not received case. So because he did that, eBay could not remove the unfair feedback until the case closed out, which it did a couple of days ago. I believe it was Saturday. And it showed that this buyer clearly received the item, but the buyer refused to close out the case. I could have called eBay over the weekend to get the negative feedback removed, but I've told you guys in the past after some past experiences that I've had, I don't recommend any of you guys calling eBay on the weekend. Please wait till Monday when your call will be routed to a representative right here in the United States. I called up this afternoon, Monday afternoon. The representative, well, I called up. I didn't call up. I clicked the button that says, have us call you. And the representative called me back about 45 seconds later. I explained the situation. She looked at the information and the feedback was removed at once. I'll show you that right now. As you can see, I'm back to 100% right where I belong. But what concerns me is this guy here, the boogeyman 1957-0, who left me the unfair negative feedback, only leaves negative or neutral feedback for all his buyers. Although it shows he has 62 transactions completed, he has never left a single positive feedback. I express my concerns to the eBay representative about this guy and others like him. And she said that she totally understands what I'm talking about. But she told me quite frankly, that eBay doesn't track bad buyers like this as closely as they used to. Now that should not come as a surprise to any of you folks, but I want you to know that right now. So yes, I'm happy to report that that worked out. But again, I'm a little disappointed because I always thought that when a buyer opens a case against us, and eBay finds in our favor that any negative feedback would be automatically removed. I always thought that was the case, but that's not happening. It didn't happen to me. I'd like to hear from you guys. Is it your understanding that if a buyer opens a case against you and the case is found in your favor, that all negative feedback should be automatically removed? That's the way I thought it always was, but apparently either it's not that way or it's just not functioning correctly. All right, 
since I have you guys here, let's jump right into talking about the new updates and let us talk about the item specifics that seem to be giving a lot of people problems. As I told you guys in my video the other day, my sales dropped off to nothing Thursday and Friday. Many other people started losing their sales on Tuesday. I was lucky I held up until Thursday. I was dead two days, Thursday and Friday, but on Saturday my sales came back. I'm not 100% sure if my items became more visible in search or if it was because I had a sale that ended, which always causes a boost in visibility on eBay. So it could be either one, but my good sales continued on Sunday as well. And so far today, Monday, things are pretty good too. So I'm cautiously optimistic about that. But I want to talk and I want to show you about the item specifics now by using my account. What I suggest you guys do is go to your seller hub where I am right now, click the listings tab right here, okay, and all your listings will populate. And you'll see on this column here, item specifics, where eBay recommends a certain amount of specifics be added. Now, I do believe that recommendations are different from requirements. I have a ton of recommendations. I have over 1,500 items to list, and almost every one has recommendations. So let's take a look at one. Let's take a look at this one right here. It says four recommendations. Okay, now you'll see right over here on the left side, the idea is to have this circle completely filled, and mine is less than half filled. So let's see what's going on here, and hopefully we can figure it out. First of all, this is odd. I'm not odd, but weird. It wants me to click on the 15 inch wheel size, which is fine. But if you look at the title bar, it clearly says 15 inch up here. But apparently they want it listed there. They want me to click on hubcap, which I'll do. And of course, that's also in the title bar as well. Now, with the manufacturer's part number, I have that listed. And I'm not sure how that differs from the OEM part number, but I've noticed that by adding it, it does seem to help. I don't know why. We'll do that. This is not a vintage car part. This is from a late model vehicle. Silver. Okay. And let's click on, wait, let's go back. Let's go back and look at the circle. Look. The circle is almost entirely filled in, but not all the way, okay? I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what I'm missing here. Easy to install, okay? I honestly don't know what I'm missing, why that thing is not filled all the way in. Oh, now it's all the way in. I guess because it's easy to install. But anyway, click on Save, and that one is done. Now, I have been encountering a glitch when doing this particular thing. And the glitch can consist of the screen totally graying out and you not being able to do anything. Or it can also consist when you're doing a listing of getting an error message that says there may be a delay in search availability. I've been getting that one a lot too. That one I usually get when I'm starting a new listing. So there are quite a few glitches going on right now, but I think that basically brings us up to date. Now I know there's gonna be a lot of questions on the item specifics. So I wanna hear them from you in the, in the question box below, in the comment section. I'm especially curious with you guys who have item specifics that are required. I didn't come across any of them yet, but if you have, please tell us about them, give us some information, and please, guys, remember that I'm Crazy New York Driver, and you're not. Thank you for watching this video. Rock on, and peace!